so this morning uh i will be uh i will be discussing about it uh looking at the flood of information around mental health on social media space uh is it overrated is it required so this morning i'll be giving insights about mental health and precautions that we need to take without getting carried away and as a result of that we won't um, invite more problems or make as a result of creating awareness at the end cause more problems uh invite more problems that doesn't even exist in in the first place so um and the first thing I would like to mention, I'm still expecting people out there to drop their response while I continue my, my gist on it. Once I see your response, I pause, I take your response, then I continue with the gist uh, on this uh, topic this morning. Now, um, mental health is actually supposed to be about learning to be happy in a given moment with what you have you know most times when people hear about mental health, the first thing that comes to their mind is depression as a, a disorder mental disorder everything but then uh, mental health is actually about making you to see how you can uh be happy in a given moment, irrespective of situations that life throws at you. Uh, how to, you know, to 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 scale through in challenging and difficult situations. So mental health is just about making you happy, bringing, making you learn about how to be happy in a given moment with what you have. So it is that means that it is impossible to say that there is nothing to be thankful of at one point or another. Something, some good things have happened. There are some things you've done so well. There are some good things that you've done, you've done so well. So it is not. So most time when people hear about mental health, you are talking about mental. Health, everybody just feel everything is about depression. Uh, telling you that depression, you shouldn't be depressed. Depression is real. Suicide is real. Everything, everything. But then mental health uh, awareness also should involve uh, uh, making you learn that you can actually be happy. And uh, of course, with the the. Uh, Situations that you've been able to pass through the happy moments you've had while you also fix uh, the ones that are challenging. Okay, it's just making you see that there's still hope uh, and uh, there's still hope for you and um, you don't really, you know, have to give up on life. So uh, that's also one of the uh, important things that mental health is um, all about. Okay, and... Um, and also another thing is like i said earlier as a result of uh, these social media uh so social media platforms that we are these days uh people talk about mental health so well that uh, it now makes it look as though something is wrong with us uh, like it, they were, because of the way they over analyze it so as a result of the over analysis sometimes they tend to create more problems that never existed so it is very very important that uh, we understand that uh when problems arise, we should always let to fix that problem in itself. We shouldn't allow it to, uh, we shouldn't bring it to that other area. For example, you have issues with, maybe for example, you fail an exam. Someone fails an exam. Just little failure. The person is already thinking, you know, person now feels sad because of the failure. Before you know it, the person is already feeling maybe is depression. The person is already scared. The person is depressed. The person will commit suicide. Already scared of problems that never even existed. So that is why it's important that any situation you face, just fix it. Focus on that situation in itself. Maybe someone fails an exam. Let the focus be on, okay, I failed this exam. How do I uh pass and do well but when we now start addressing it too much when we overflow it too much the person can start feeling somehow maybe the person is depressed depression can comes in uh, come in in the process and the person can be feeling too depressed because it's over addressed you know and the result of that person we think the person is depressed whereas the person is not depressed the person is just sad at uh the present moment so there's a difference between sadness and uh, depression there's actually a difference between sadness and depression, but based on the way uh, this uh, mental health is being advocated this way these days, it may, even makes it look so hard to differentiate from when you are sad or when you are frustrated and when you are depressed. You see people who are just sad; nothing is wrong with them. They are not mentally depressed, but because of the fact that it's talked about, it's spoken about, everything you know, little side plans about a little challenge of life that can be faced squarely without allowing it affect every area of the life of life you know as a result of that you know you bring unnecessary fear 
to this person so I, i'm still expecting uh, responses okay i think i have a response on the, the comments box now and i would like to read it out this um uh, uh, it's coming from um, Ayotunde Famokunwa. He says mental health awareness is not overrated. Uh, actually, one problem we have with health in Nigeria is that we have poor health seeking behaviors, and this is sometimes due to ignorance or misinformation. So, having a more mentally aware population means people know they are sick and admit it and seek help. This eventually re reduces the number of bad cases getting to the hospital and also reduces mortality. It also helps tackle the issue of stigmatization. Wow, thank you so much for that response. Uh, I would like to pick some important points in uh, what he said. He said, uh, mental health awareness is not overrated. And um, he says, uh, one problem we have with Nigeria is that we have poor health-seeking behavior. That is so, so true. Even as a result or even physical health issues most times people don't people hardly go to ch to the hospital personally for personal checkup you hardly see people in the hospital that want to go for checkup it is until when situations arises then people start running up and down we have a podcast episode this actually has a podcast episode on why you should go for for medical checkup you can check the link and my the url link you can listen we have more than 30 podcast episodes on health in itself you can just listen to them we have on one on why you should go for medical checkup like valid reasons why you should go for medical checkup we, in this part of the world we talk like we are so low on, on medical checkup we don't go for checkups at all even on it is until when situations are at the limits that's when we seek for help that's what we seek for help and he said okay uh, as a result of uh you know this mental awareness he says uh people will get to know when they are sick and admit it and also seek help and it will also reduce the number of bad cases okay thank you so much uh mr yotunde famo kunga for that uh awesome response on this topic is mental health overrated is it under uh rated i'm still expecting more responses uh from listeners this morning as regarding uh you know uh this uh topic okay so okay so i was i was talking about uh about this uh, topic from my own perspective, okay? Yeah, I, I saw another perspective over there, uh, okay, from my own uh, uh, perspective. Okay, so um, I'm, me, I'm of the opinion, I'm saying that uh, when people face uh, physical matters, let's know that this thing is physical matters, don't let us over tackle it, don't let us overflog it to the point that we now make it, make the person start getting scared of what, of a problem that does not exist getting scared of a problem that does not exist if you you fail you, this is failure in exams i agree that okay this is failure see how you can get better but if you address it too much if you overflog it too much sometimes can get getting getting fear fearful or afraid of depression of committing suicide even if all those kind of thoughts all those kind of things does not exist in the first in the first place and um also um if, and also, we also emphasize that uh, we limit discussion around physical health only to it. If there's any issues with physical health, let's focus on it. If there's any issues with emotional health, let's focus on it. Let us link it to mental health. Let us take that uh, particular problem and let us fix it in its own before, so that we don't uh, overflow it so much that we now uh, let create spheres that does not exist. So, uh, me... I will say in my own words, I'll say that mental health is actually awareness is actually not overrated. It's actually not overrated. However, uh, the way people, uh, if you overthink about it sometimes, it can attract problems. That is, it can make you to be too afraid of issues that you don't even have. It can create unnecessary fear for you because it's a case that when people hear too much about uh you know uh, mental health depression when you hear about suicide suicide too much depression depression too much you are depressed you are depressed it make you afraid it can things like this information like this can bring uh fear too much fear of what is not even happening to you so it is very important that all this mental health is just uh, to create awareness that things are real and to make you see that okay oh, 
the situation you are facing presently they are all they are good things to be uh, grateful for and there are apps that can be rendered it is not now for you to not start uh, you know getting too afraid of what is not happening to you that's why it's very very good that when you have any uh, negative feelings it's good to uh, you know to see your doctor so that they can help you analyze what you are feeling and they can know if you are fine or you need medical help and that is where the place of uh, med a medical checkup actually comes in just like uh what uh mr uh famo kunwa stated uh on the comments box uh this morning okay so um mental health uh, awareness is not at overrated okay but then we still need to be careful of what uh, social media uh give sometimes there are a lot of informations that we see on social media sometimes that can make you afraid of what is not happening to you so at that point in time it's it's very important that uh we uh, we got a heart don't overthink it because too much overthinking can cause problems because uh it makes you to be afraid of what you are not facing and what uh does not exist uh, so so it's very important that uh, we uh, understand uh, that okay so i uh, will take a short break here now and once i'm back i'll be back uh, to give uh, a short announcement as regarding uh, today's show because i'm done with what i have to say but anyway if i still have any other comments as regarding this question that is on the op- um, comments box uh is mental ed uh, uh overrated or underrated then i uh, will be uh mentioning it uh, on the show but before then uh take a short break and i'll be right back uh on the show this uh, morning don't go away <laughs> All right, uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you so much for joining in on the show this morning. Thank you so much for signifying uh, day two. two. Uh, thank you so much. It's been a long time here, yeah, actually. Uh, he says, she said it's good to be back here. Yes, it's good to have you here this morning also. Uh, Mr. Ayomide Famokunwa, thank you so much for uh, joining in on the show this morning. And also thank you so much for dropping your response as regarding today's opinion pool and also i would like to uh appreciate uh, emmanuel thank you so much also for joining in i will also appreciate it more when you drop your name and your response on the comments box than dropping it on my whatsapp <laughs> whatsapp uh space okay just drop your message everything on uh the comments box thank you so much everyone okay so i have this announcement uh first off uh tiktok show is holding its uh first health online conference uh april 30th to may 1st 2021 and um, the team is on weight loss and gain liposuction body security among male and female in the 21st century so this conference is the first of its kind and it's a free conference but registration is compulsory so in order to be a part of this conference in order to be an attendee in order to attend this conference then it is important that you register uh uh, for the conference uh, through the comment the message i drop on the, the link i dropped on the comments box uh you're going to see it uh, the big announcement is here yes just check it and you're going to uh register registration is free but it is compulsory to be uh to register in order to be an attendee and also uh, another announcement that i have for you is that personally i'm a data seller <laughs> I sell data for every network, MCN, Glow, Eta, Excel, Nine Mobile, any net et salad, all the networks I sell data. So all you just need to do is to reach out to me on my number zero eight one four six four six nine two seven nine two order for your data. So it's as affordable price, uh, you know, it's 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 
<laughs> our delivery service is very fast once you order you get your data you pay you get your data so uh, that's that's all you need to do is just to uh to slide into my dm and order uh for your data okay once again i'm saying a very big thank you to everyone who joined in live this morning don't forget uh mensa health awareness is not overrated okay it's allow